everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well and staying warm in this frigid time. And hopefully you have something good to read. If not, I might be able to help you with that to keep you busy. I've got James Rollins Unrestricted Access. I planned to you know, record this for you last week. Didn't get around to it. The, I got a lot of reading done, but the recording, reviewing, that one didn't happen. It's planned last week. But this one, it was, I read it in a day because it was just a bunch of really short stories, most of which I have already read before as they were a little, you know, 99 cent, you know, Kindle buys. But there were a couple new ones as well that were part of other anthologies and a flat out new novella that he wrote strictly for this. And I will say that there was also one story that I refused to read. It's The Pit, and it's about a dog fighting ring and told from the poor doggie's perspective. So, nope, not, not doing it. I, I skimmed it a little bit, hoping maybe it would be, no. No, no, no. It, it's depressing. I refused. I skipped over that one. Though I did have a lot of fun. The first one is one that I have been eyeing for a while, but I can never find it as a single, you know, one-off buy it. And it's Kowalski's In Love. And it sounds like a cute little romance, but this is Kowalski we're talking about. He is in love, but not in the way that, you know, normal people would be that one it's it, there's a reason he's you know big dumb muscle but sweetheart and my favorite character and this definitely shows Kowalski just exactly as he is so the ending is not what you expect but at the same time if you know him if you've read a bunch of the Sigma Force and seeing how he is, it, yeah, you're not really shocked at the end. He really is in love, but not how you're thinking it. So that one was a lot of fun. And then we've got, you know, some of the ones that are, you know, basically fillers for various Sigma novels or for his Sanguine series with um, Rebecca Cantrell. And as we've also got the new one which is a little Tucker and Kane short that closes out the book. And again, that one was, this one had a doggy and a happy ending. And also has me kind of curious to see if my friend has heard any of this stuff because it takes place in Arizona with some, you know, things that I've never heard of like time crystals and vortexes. And now that I have a friend that lives out there, I'm curious if she's heard any of these local legends as well so those it was very short very trippy very much james rollins and i love that you know, at the end of his novels he always gives okay here's real here's fake here's what i took some license with with the short stories we normally don't get that but at the end of each of these in this story we do get where all his inspiration came from and what he made up and this that and the other like normal so that was a lot of fun. So if you love Rollins, but you didn't want to go and get a bunch of different anthologies just to get his out of it, definitely run and check this one out. There is a Kindle version. I finally, the hardback was on sale for less than the Kindle version, so I snatched it up. Hopefully you can find a good sale on it as well. And have fun, enjoy, and I will see you soon. Bye. Happy reading.